Welcome back to another buyer's guide for doll collectors and gift givers alike featuring the Disney New Emos, Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh, Pooh and his friends. So first we're going to start with Winnie the Pooh himself, the main character. He is made so adorable. He's got embroidered eyebrows, eyes, his little mouth, he's got a little round felt nose. His shirt is not an extra piece of material so you don't have to worry about extra bulk mm -hmm. when putting clothes on him like Daisy and Donald. Ahem. <laughs> And also, the faces on the different uh, poos are a little bit different. Yeah, so make sure you look through them before you choose your own poo. Also, on the back, it's a super cute detail. He has a little tear on his back. Stuff and fluff. <laughs> when he is doing his little exercises. I love how it, they embroidered that. It's such a cute detail. And here's the outfit that we put him in. He's wearing the overalls from Fashion Collection 2 and the Electric Festival bandana. And we are going to review that later on the video, so make sure you watch it till the end. So I think this outfit would look adorable on his friends as well. And it looks adorable on Pooh. Oh, definitely. And if you do want to see a review of the Fashion Collection 2, we did a, a couple of the outfits on our channel. I'll put that card up above. Up next is Little Piglet. He's not looking timid or scared at all today. He's running in a field of flowers. Look at him, all pink. And he's wearing his little pink bodysuit. It looks exactly like he does in the cartoon with the little ribs in it. Adorable. Such great detail. Like they actually threaded each ribbing. Yeah, it is so cute. Um, little pink nose. I think he looks adorable. And the, it, uh, his little bodysuit doesn't add any extra bulk. Yeah, that's. They did great on their clothes. I do I mean, love that. You know, Pooh and Piglet. And here he is dressed. We use two different outfits. Uh, we use a scarf from Fashion Number One, Collection Number One, and then we use the shirt from Fashion Collection Number Two. And what's Piglet without his scarf? Come on. I know, and this is uh, that outfit was the only one with a scarf, and he looks adorable. Next up, we have the wonderful Tigger because he's the only one. <laughs> they really made him really nice. He has stripes all over, like he has it on his arms. He even has them on his little cheek. He also has um, a bigger like um, snout and mouth. So you have to look through him carefully because sometimes under his chin he had like bumps and. Mm -hmm. And you, you just had to look through some of them because some of the times they were a little messed up. But he's really adorable. And we're going to flip him around and we're going to see the stripes on his back. They even on, on the back of his head. And of course his little tail for bouncing. Unfortunately it doesn't have any, met, uh, any wire in there to bend it so it's flat. I wish they had done that because that would have been so cool. It would have been cool, yeah, to, to like move it up or down. But... It's still cute little detail there. And of course he has a huge tag. They all have tags. <laughs> and here is our outfit that we put him in. He is in the Woody cosplay outfit. We just gave him a diff uh, just a plain white shirt. And I think he looks really nice. The yellow and red looks great with his little orange fur. Very cute. He's Disney bounding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he's Disney. And I really didn't think... Um, I would like Tigger when seeing him online, but I, I think he's so cuddly and soft. They're all with all of his Pooh and his friends are cute. Next up is one of my little favorites, Eeyore. Oh my gosh. Little so misunderstood Eeyore. I love his hair. He's so cute. And um, he his little eyebrows and eyes. So cute. Um, it, I just love his face. They did a lot of detail on his face, the stitching, and the, the little eyes, his little expression. He's smiling. It's so cute. <laughs> and, you know, of course, posable. I love the fact that these, um, these toys are posable. They're not just, I mean, a, a stuffed animal. Stuffed animal is great, but these are posable. You can actually, um, pose them, take pictures of them. And there's this tail with a little tack on the end and a little bow and hair on the end, which is so such a cute detail. He's adorable. His little tail is cute. I love that detail. 
And here he is. He almost looks like a pilot here. <laughs> uh, we use two different outfits. Uh, the jacket's from Fashion Collection number two, and the shirt is from actually from Woody's cosplay outfit. So we thought he looked adorable in this little. And yeah, I really like the color combo. Outfit. I love him in blue, mm -hmm. and, and the red looks nice on him as well. Next up, we're going to review some of the outfits from the Vintage Collection. So here we have Minnie and Mickey. Oh, they look so oh. cute. So let's take a look at Snow White. This was Snow White inspired. They call it Vintage Day Snow White inspired outfit. And I decided to put it on Minnie. She looks absolutely adorable. It's just a one piece item and it was $12.99. And then you have a collar, and then you got a red bow, and then the rest is printed details. You got some ruffles, you got some printed buttons. I love all the colors on this outfit. The only thing that I wish it had come with was like a plain red bow, because I know Minnie has bows with polka dots, but I would have liked to see a satin, just a satin red bow. Mm -hmm. And it velcros all the way down the back, and of course there is a huge tag under there, so you gotta tuck it. In or just cut it off. It really depends on you. But I love how flowy it is. Mm-hmm. Me too. And she just looks so dang adorable. Next up we have the Vintage Day blue pinstripe suit. This is not inspired by anybody. I've looked it up on Shop Disney and it does not say who it's inspired by, so they just call it a pinstripe suit. It's a three-piece set. This goes very well with the snow white outfit. Looks very dapper. Yes, and uh, I really love all the details. So he has a jacket, and then he's got a, a little tie shirt with a vest on top of that, and then blue pants. Three pieces. Very nice. And then um, the collar is actually not printed. You can see the collar. The tie is a little ribbon. You can pull it out of the little vest. It's not sewn down. And uh, here's the jacket. It's got embroidered little pockets you can see a handkerchief in one of those pockets so cute and embroidered buttons very nice very detailed plus it's great you could just use the the top and then switch the pants mm -hmm. mickey is very cute in this here is daisy and donald donald's handing daisy a little purple flower so cute. cute here is um the a couple more vintage outfits. There's a Tinkerbell and she has a backpack on with wings. I thought this was so great because not only is it a backpack but you can have wings. I mean this is so cute. It's adorable. So she's dressing up as Tinkerbell. I just think it's adorable. I love this uh, the dress, the polka dot dress and the backpack that has the wings and you can just see that's iridescent. Very shiny. And I like the sizing on this one, preferable to the lounge line ones. Yes. So the backpack has a little handle at the top, and then you got two straps that you can actually unvel. They have Velcro. It's really cool because you can adjust it on the new emo. Like if they're wearing a coat, they get or like a fur coat or a sweater, anything that's poofy and bulky, it can extend and it will easily fit on their arms. It's also great for smaller hands or even any hand because sometimes I have difficulty putting on their little clothes so it's an, a very smart way to put on the backpack. Next up is another vintage outfit, the little brown suit. And we put that on Donald. He looks very dapper in this little brown suit. It is three pieces also and the tie is movable. You can move it outside of the vest if you wanted to. I think he looks totally cute. It even goes with, like, the blue tie goes with his hat because you can't remove his hat. One thing that you have to note about Donald is he does have webbed feet, which are a little bit bigger than the rest of the Nemo's. So you kind of have to be careful in putting him into the pants. Here he is without the jacket looking really cute. Another thing is, is that we removed Donald's shirt very delicately and also Daisy's shirt. You can do that. If you have any questions, put in the comment section. I'll tell you how to do it. And here he is. He looks so cute with his little tie sticking out, the little collar. I just love this outfit, the blue, the, the blue suit and the brown suit. Yes, very cute. adorable. 
Next up, we have the last album from the Vintage Day collection. It was inspired by Belle. And Miss Piggy is wearing it because I thought this little hair accessory looked like mm -hmm. a, a little veil yeah. hat. And so it, would, it seems like it would be something she would wear. Oh, yes. Yeah, very fashionable. And it's, it's, I thought at first it was a bow when I first saw it, but it's not a bow. It's just like a little veiled accessory. And it has a rose, one little rose bud on there. And it, uh, it's a headband and it velcros in the back. And I was very disappointed that Snow White's didn't come with yeah. something like this because Bell's did and they were both the same price. Yes. So, but it's, it's okay because this one's nice. And um, she has this lovely yellow dress which has like a flared skirt, a nice ribbon, and you got a collar. And I just love the color. This is great for spring, summer. You could use it for either one. And here on the back, you see it's velcroed all the way down, and the headband can velcro on the back. Looks very cute. And there's one more look at it with her. We wish we had princesses. Yes. Next up is the Electric Festival Collection. It's a four piece set. We chose to use the bandana and the shirt. We didn't use the uh, fanny pack or the pants. So we put Daisy in this little ensemble. She looks cute. One thing about Daisy is we did take off her shirt just like we did with Donald because it is hard to put their clothes on when they yes. have another shirt on. So we gently removed that from her and it's a lot easier to dress her. She looks so adorable and cute. I love her bow. It's pink. She's already ready to go. And here's a closer look of the bandana. We use the bandana also on Pooh when we dress Pooh. And yeah, we used it twice see, already. Yep. Yeah, here you can see some Mickeys. I wish they would make them in four different colors, you know, like red, yellow, orange. It would be so adorable. Just bandanas by themselves and just... It would be great to have more of these. I didn't th realize how cute it would be with so many different outfits. Yeah. And you can make... Um, and then it's hemmed. It's not in a perfect square though, but and then there's the fanny pack. Of course, it doesn't open. Shame. Just you know, it would have been so cute, but it didn't have to have a zipper. Just opening clothes would be cute. Would have been adorable. There you go. That's the complete set. Next album from the Electric Festival series was this adorable fur jacket with this jumpsuit, and here's Miss Piggy posing, and Kermit's ready to snap her picture with the camera. I really like this outfit. When I saw it online, I was kind of like, I don't know. But then I saw it in person. I really love the colors of the fur jacket. And even the jumpsuit is cute on Miss Piggy. Yeah, very metallic and star-like. Yes, and I love the way it looks with her gloves and shoes. Like, her gloves so perfectly go with the coat. <laughs> and she just, this looks like something she would wear. So the fur... Jacket has lining on the inside, such a cute detail, and it's in cotton candy colors. You got pink, blue, and a little bit of purple. And the hood does fit on Miss Piggy. It is a little hard to put on someone with like mini, because I tried it on mini and it was hard to get on her ears, but it still fits on, over their head, if anyone was wondering. And I just love this piece. And then the little jumpsuit by itself. It has a little v-neck and it's just so cute and it, it, it even looks good by itself you don't even mm -hmm. have to put the little jacket on next up is another electric festival favorite we call this the space outfit <laughs> here we have daisy in it and see it looks great without her shirt on um this is kind of see-through but i mean these are stuffed animals so uh we have the little <laughs> shorts at least and, they give her shorts yes <laughs> We have the little shorts and then we have this little funky uh, overalls and it has a Velcro on the straps there. And it comes also with this adorable <laughs> little a backpack. Oh my God. Another I love actual these backpack. zipping backpack. Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness, Disney, we love these. Things that open. <laughs> and you can put your little items in there, the little snacks for you to eat most. And then with straps with Velcro. Same thing like the Tinkerbell. Same exact thing. And it's it's just wonderful. It has a little 
hook there. And, and this we, is another outfit that I saw a promo of, and I was like, I don't if, think I like it. Yeah, we were like, Ew, but look at how cute it is. Yeah, even the the space dress, it looks so shiny, and it just it's so interesting. It's very spacey. yeah, you can't tell that it's see through anyway. So it's like it's like, it really looks so cute. So her outfit is definitely better in person. Don't forget to comment down below. Let us know which outfit was your favorite from the new collection or which way the Pooh Nuimo would you like to get. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified when we put up another video. We usually try to do it at least once a week. Yes, we upload doll videos and emo videos, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss anything. Thank you everybody for watching and don't forget to join us next time as, as we focus, focus on the cute. cute. Bye. Bye bye everybody.